Hi, what's going on? I'm Jonah. I'm going to show you how to do this here Mega Minx. I, I always start with the slime green side. I don't know why, but you do it to where you get the lime green star with the right sides touching. These ones just happen to be solved like that. It's not really a formula for this, it's just common sense. You should be able to solve a 3x3 three three doing this video. That last one. Alright, so now I've got that star with the touching the right sides. Next step is to get this one right here, etc. Basic uh, corner orientation formula as on the 3x3. Three three. Flip this up, bring it around, bring it back down. Pretty easy. Should be able to do that already if you know how to do a 3x3. Three three. <clears throat> Okie dokie, now you got a full slice. Next, time, next uh, step is to get these five middle ones around the thing. So. Here's one of them right here. It's gonna go here. You do that third step on the three by three. Um, yeah. So same formula as on the three by three. The third step. And again. All right, this formula is U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, um, F prime, U, F. And that'll be solved. So, just keep doing it. This one's on this side, so you would do U prime, you know, whatever. That formula, just look in your book. I don't feel like explaining it. Lazy. <laughs> Alrighty. This last one, green and red, I'm looking for. Right yonder. So there it is. Now you got full lime green face and that all around. So next, you've solved these three. I always start with green. This one's already solved, so I'm looking for green, pink, silver. That piece. Right. So flip it up into your top layer, bring it over. You want the pink to be on the top, just trust me, because you want the bottom left layer, the color of the bottom left layer to be up on the top. So just kind of shimmy it around until the pink is on top. And you go like this. Stick with me, please. I know what I'm talking about. All right. Green, silver. It's the next one you're looking for. It's right here. So bring it up into the top. And you can just do like that third formula again of the three by three. U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F, whatever. And I'll put it right here. Now you're gonna go like this. Watch closely. Bring this one down. Bring this one back over. Bring this one up. Put that back. All three will be solved. Yeah. All right. Now, do the same thing. That one's solved. Now you're looking for orange, silver, blue. Right here. And I need the silver side to be up, because it's on the bottom left. Now bring it in. 
orange blue. Right there. Same formula. Same thing. You may need to watch this closely, but follow it. And it's all. Just keep doing that all around. I'm just going to kind of skip ahead here. White green, I'm looking for. All right, this is the next part you need to know. After you do all five, your first one that you started with will be screwed up again, so just do that original formula. And you'll have all five. Cool. Uh, wrong angle, cool. All right, next thing to do is get this piece on all five sides. So, you do that with the same edge orientation or corner orientation. This piece needs to go here. So just, you know, pretty easy. This piece is in the right spot, just needs to be rotated, you know, whatever. This piece needs to go here. You should know how to do this from a three by three as I've said multiple times already. Alright, so now you've got that all around. <sighs> Next step is to get these five pieces. Right now, you have five sides salt. No, six, my bad. So, you look at your top, and my top is yellow. So, if any of these pieces have yellow in them, you know that it's not a piece that needs to go in this. So this one doesn't, just basic third step again that we've done before on a three by three. There it is again. This piece goes here. All right, now you've got everything solved, except this little slash top splice here, whatever you want to call it. What do you do? 